Good afternoon. It's Wednesday, January 4th, 2011. I'm Jamie Chadwick with your Erner Berry Market Report, sponsored today by Moark Eggs. Today, foodmarket.com is reporting that the most recent national meat case study revealed that beef continues to be the biggest player in the meat case. The study is completed every three years and provides a comprehensive look at how meat is merchandised in the retail case. For more on this story and other news from the center of the plate, head to foodmarket.com. Now here's Terrence Wells with the Shell Egg Inventory Report. Yesterday's National Shell Egg Inventory was reported by the USDA to be 1,090,000 cases, representing an increase of 19% from last week's figure and up 3.8% from the same week last year. Breaking inventory has advanced 4.9% this week, totaling 277.3,000 cases. The total Shell Egg Inventory is 1,367.3,000 cases, representing a 15.8% increase from the past week's total. Inventories have risen quickly following one of the best holiday seasons on record. The high prices associated with this December resulted in late flock adjustments as some attempt to take advantage of market levels. The current $1.44 price for white MW large is over 19% above last year's price. But with retail demand slowing and supplies building, the shell egg and products markets are weak and under pressure. This is Terrence Wells with your National Shell Egg Inventory Report. Back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Terrence. Looking at poultry in the chicken market, our early ca canvas this morning has unveiled very similar conditions as compared to those from the past few days. Demand is lagging in general, while supplies for most of our listed lines remain in check to short. Wings remain extremely tight, forcing buyers to pay significant premiums in almost all cases of spot trading. Wogs and whole birds are steady to possibly better, and whole breasts are well supported with product moving to Canada, garnering somewhat better money overall. Dark meat is fair to balance with thighs being neglected a bit. Tenders are considered full steady at most points of sale. Cutlets are reported as being slightly less available than earlier in the week, but the majority of trades continue to fall within a steady range of our current quotations. Now with an inside look at Erner Berry's turkey letter, here's Russ Barton. 2012 in the turkey market is hardly standing out with bang, but it is a fresh start for an industry where strong market performance has bred high expectations for the next 52 weeks. This week's cold storage estimate is calculated at just over 221 million pounds, up about 12 million from last week. Here, our chart reviews the January 1st Fresh Tom breast meat quotation from over the last six years. This year, at $2.50 per pound, the breast meat market is just shy of last year's historical value. But unlike 2010, where consistent buying patterns existed well into December, buying interest during 2011 was much more irregular and less needy on any given day. For 2012, there's a common sentiment that meat production will be moderately increased. There also seems to be regular weekly supplies still available that at this time last year had already been accounted for. The eagerness to step to the negotiating table that was apparent last year was, has given way to a more casual approach. That tends to put the price discovery process on hold a bit longer and potentially pushes back the timing of the market bottom. So for breast meat, it sure seems that it's just a matter of time. I'm Russ Barton with this week's Turkey Letter. Back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Russ. Moving over to red meats in the box beef market, the bulk of asking prices are at steady levels with yesterday's numbers. Ribs and peeled tenderloins are the noted items that beef processors continue to adjust, hoping to find clearing levels. And cuts in ground beef remain the focus of retailers. Initial offering prices for live cattle market ready cattle have surfaced at $124 per hundred weight. In the boneless beef market, undertones are generally steady to slightly firmer. Fresh 50s have already traded in light volume near the top end of the previous quotation. Most packers continue to indicate that they are in good shape and asking prices are steady to slightly higher. Imported beef markets this morning are mixed. Trading values for forward delivery of blend cow 90% are firm as they reflect overseas availability and price. Spot blend cow 90% sees values that are both premium and discounted to yesterday's quoted levels as traders work from varying inventory position and demand is uneven from area to area. Now looking at pork, direct sales are called steady to firmer today as participants continue to purchase hogs for the expected ample Saturday slaughter. Processing pork items are anticipated steady to slightly firmer today as seasonal interest picks up for most ham and trim lines. Bellies maintain firmer undertones if and when printed. And current demand for fresh pork products is limited and values are under selling pressure. 
That wraps up Erner Berry's market report brought to you today by Moark Eggs. For more than 50 years, Moark has grown their business with a commitment to adding real value to their products and services. Providing old-fashioned customer service that is tested and proven to meet your needs. Visit them online at www.moarkllc.com or give them a call at 866-757-EGGS.